Now, SCIP stands for Substances of Concern in Articles as Such or in Complex Objects or Products. And basically what this is, is it's a database that was established by the European Chemicals Agency in response to requirements that were put in place by an amendment to the European Union's Waste Framework Directive. Now, the directive was amended in May of 2018, but the European Chemicals Agency didn't publish their first specification on the database until September of 2019. So the industry's had a very short runway to prepare for this, considering that uh, it's mandatory to start loading data into this database on January 5th of 2021, which is just around the corner. So as you can see, we're running out of time to get this done. The database is going to be made available by the European Chemicals Agency to start loading this information at the end of October, which is this month. So in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to start loading this information in so that we can make sure that our dossiers and submissions are up to speed by the January 5th date when every single product that we place on the market in the EU, which contains an SVET over threshold, must have a submission in place. Now, one thing to keep in mind as we go through the process that we're going to review is that uh, skip requirements were established by an EU directive, not an EU law, which is the case for REACH. In the case of an EU directive, each member state must transpose it into their own national legislation. And what that means is we can see varying levels of interpretation and enforcement throughout Europe, and we don't know yet what that's going to look like. So we need to make sure that whatever process that we're following is robust enough to meet the standards of any of these member states' interpretations and enforcement requirements. Learn more by viewing the full-length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.